We're going to show you how to multiply two numbers in base 2 with this simple rule. Each dot on the top is replaced by the pattern on the bottom. Hey guys, Goldfish here, and today we are going to be teaching you how to multiply in base 2. <laughs> I let her go. So today we are going to be multiplying 7 by 5. First, we need to make base 2 machines for them. So, we're going to use the same rule as always. Two dots on the right go to one dot on the left. And we're going to continue this on both sides until we can no longer do it anymore. So now we have a base 2 machine for 7 and a base 2 machine for 5. So now what we can do is we have to replace each dot on the top with the exact same pattern as there is on the bottom. So let's start with is this dot. See it's really that simple. I'm going to continue this pattern until we get something like this. And now we can use it on any boxes with more than one dot. Until we have this. Five times seven equals one, zero, 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 one, one. Thirty-two plus two plus one. That's thirty-five. Now we're going to be multiplying 6 by 2. We're going to make base 2 machines for 6 and for 2. And now we have the base 2 number for 6 and the base 2 number for 2. And now we're going to multiply them with the same way we did before. But since we're multiplying by 2, we can treat it like a 10 and simply just shift this over to the right, to the left. And it will, of course, turn it into green. And as you can see, it would be exactly the same as if you replaced each of these with the, the pattern on the bottom. It's basically what happens when you multiply something by the base that you're in. So 6 times 2 is 1100. Zero, zero. That's an 8 and a 4, which, which add up to 12. 6 times 2 is 12. Now we're going to be multiplying some big on us. I use that. As you can see, we have 21 and 13 that we're going to be multiplying. Now we have a base 2 machine for 21 and a base 2 ma machine for 13. Now we gotta multiply it with the exact same rule as we used before. Each dot on the top goes to the exact same pattern that is there on the bottom. And now we can use it on any boxes with more than one dot. So, 13 times 21 equals 1 zero 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 one zero 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 one. Now we have 256, 16, and 1. If you add that all together, it's 273. 21 times 13 is 273. And thanks for watching. And as always, make sure to try this at home. Music by El Camino del Rio Elementary, 4th and 5th grade Marimba Band.